Hello YouTube, and today we have an unboxing and review for you of the Latitude 100 two-way radios from Binatone. They feature free communication as there's no license fee to pay on the frequency. You could choose from 8 different channels, and the box says they have a range of 5km, which isn't the best, but these are only low end, so you wouldn't expect to see greater reception over long distances at this price point. Remember that these are only starter walkie-talkies, not full-blown ship radios. Other features include scanning for frequencies, adjustable volume control, low battery warning, a belt clip, as well as an ergonomic design. So let's take a look in the box. It's Amazon frustration free, so it should be nice and easy. On top, we have the belt clips, which will attach to the units a bit later, followed by the units themselves. The only other thing we have in the box is a small amount of literature with some instructions about the operation of the radios. Let's put that to the side and take a closer look at the radios. Now we have a completely plastic body, which is what's to be expected at this low price point, but it feels sturdy enough. It's comfortable enough to hold in your hand, giving you easy access to the push to talk button with your index finger, as well as access to the other buttons with your thumb. On the back we have the battery compartment, which takes three AAA batteries. Note these aren't included in the box, so you'll have to supply your own. Let's put the battery compartment back on and attach the belt clip, which is nice and easy to do so like so. Now we've got it working, and in first impressions, I'm pretty pleased, especially considering the price. The audio quality isn't top notch, but it's clear enough to hear what people are saying, which at the end of the day is all that's important. The volume control is useful depending what environment you're in, and the speaker on this thing is adequately loud. I did a few tests in built up areas, as this is where I'm going to be using this thing, and the results weren't excellent, getting decent signal only for a few hundred metres away. But I wasn't expecting much at this price. For my purpose, this isn't a problem, as I'll be communicating with people in the same building. However, I will continue to do further tests in open countryside and let you know the results. The call button is useful to get people's attention, or just to drive them nuts. Scanning for channels is useful if you're joining a channel where people are already communicating, as well as a low power mode designed to save the batteries. I used rechargeable batteries in my test, and they probably lasted 4 or 5 hours, which is fine for my use, but if you aren't longer, you just need to carry a spare set of batteries, and put them in when the warning light comes on. If there is one negative feature of the set, it's the annoying end of message bleep tone. I mean, I get why it's there, to let people know when it's the end of your message the next person can speak, but it's extremely annoying after a while, and there's no way to turn it off. That's it for this video, there'll be more up on the channel soon, so keep subscribed, and I'll see you in the next one.